The news struck fear in some parents here in Hawaii praying for their children attending UNLV. Our Annalisa Burgos spoke to one family about the terrifying ordeal. Annalisa. That's right, guys. You know, the youngest daughter of the Oka family from Kaneohe was working in the building next to the one where today's mass shooting took place. And the message she sent is one that no parent ever wants to receive. Kayla Oka is a junior at UNLV. She was getting ready for a work holiday party when she received an alert on her phone at 9.51 a.m. Las Vegas time. And it basically said university, university police responding to report of shots fired in BEH, which is a building here on campus, evacuate to a safe area, run, hide, and fight. Did you know what run, hide, and fight means? I did not because this is like my first time or my first experience with something, something like this. And like the adrenaline is going through your body. You're just in complete shock. So I just, I'm very grateful that my coworkers like knew what to do. Everyone was staying calm. Oka texted her parents and sisters to let them know she was okay. Calls and messages flooded in from loved ones. Mom Lisa said she tried to keep her calm, even though she was worried sick. It's, it's finals week, right? Like what a time for it to happen, you know, so much stress already for the kids and then this happens. The first thing I thought about was like, because my parents aren't here and like my family is all home. Like I just wanted them to know, like, even though I wasn't responding like quick enough that I was OK. This is like the end. Like the last time I saw them was like Thanksgiving and like this is it for my college career, you know, and like all my dreams were like slowly like disintegrating. Oka continued to text with her family. She and about six co-workers sheltered in place for more than two hours before police evacuated their building, which was right next to where the shooting was. We had to like have our hands up and like they were banging on like all the office doors. And I was just like, this is not real life. I feel like I'm in a nightmare right now. What you based security experts say today's shooting shows the importance of training on threat assessments and active shooter response. We can try and thwart that individual's pathway to violence, right? We can intervene in a way that takes them off of that pathway to violence. They need to know how to react and how to respond when police show up because there's so many things that's going on that could be threats can be perceived as threats by law enforcement and therefore people can get hurt, right? Hurt or even killed. Despite the terrifying ordeal, Oka says she's more determined than ever to ace her finals. I'm going to live in the moment. I'm going to seize every moment I have with my family and friends to the fullest because tomorrow is like never promised. And coming home for the holidays will be even more special this year. Annalisa Burgos, Hawaii News Now.